It is all the news all the time. And uh, my name is Adam. And we've got an interesting but serious story coming from the Metro, which is a London-based left-wing paper. And um, yeah, it's quite quite serious, but I thought we should cover it. Um, I'm going to have to say some strange words because YouTube will ban me from saying anything uh, like this. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna have to work my way around it. Anyway, uh, teen jailed for doing this uh, when an intruder burst into his bedroom. So uh, he's been put in jail for sort of defending himself, as far as I can understand. So a man, uh, his name is Dean Kerry, was just 17 when he did this uh, to Jack Power, aged by 25. So he's 17, he's 25, and uh, he did that in the in the chest in july 2018 it seems the intruder smashed a window to get into the house in waterford south southeast island because he believed kerry now 21 had damaged his car uh power was uh was this once through the heart and uh and that happened kerry was descri described as being slight yeah he looks quite sort of light um at the time and the victim who had been drinking was tall and well built and older than him and drunk and wow uh, mr power uh stormed into kerry's bedroom and the court heard the suggestion that the defendant's mother was also ass assaulted in the uh, melee kerry told police he found the uh, the item at his bedside but the irish mirror reports the judge said he did not believe the court had heard the truth about the provenance of the weapon uh, officers found him crying in the kitchen where well, you would it's a serious things going on uh, after he called the police himself the judge said he had taken into account Kerry's genuine remorse and his young age at the time of the incident and still sent him to jail for defending himself against an intruder breaking into his house right so he added that although he didn't start the trouble well no the convicted man had resorted to excessive and disproportionate uh, violence by using this on someone who was unarmed but had also broken into the house was bigger than him was drunk and has assaulted his mother right and he didn't start the trouble and what is this excessive and disproportionate uh thing uh it's a single uh strike it seems and that's excessive and disproportionate wow he was found guilty of manslaughter after the jury decided the defendant had acted in self-defense Wow, you're not even allowed to defend yourself. Wow. Uh, Mr. Justice McDermott acknowledged the trial provided cold comfort for relatives whose loss is profound and lifelong. It's cold comfort for anyone. You're, you're putting someone in jail for defending themselves in their own house when they're attacked by a bigger, older, drunk male who smashes through the window. Wow, what are you supposed to do? I like ask him ask him to leave politely play a game of Monopoly while you wait. Uh, Mr. Power was described as an exceptionally hard-working young man who's had his life ruined by the judge, who was fueled by his father's encouragement. He added, nothing I do or say will alleviate this suffering. The sentence I impose must be proportionate, I think the word is disproportionate there, to the gravity of the offence of manslaughter and also appropriate to his circumstances. Uh, the judge imposed the sentence of four years and six months and he suspended the final year to take into account the time he's already been in jail wow wow that's appalling that is absolutely appalling so that's uh that's his life here so what a lesson do we learn from that uh, try not to defend yourself when you're attacked by someone bigger than you stronger than you drunker than you and more aggressive than you uh, just uh, phone the police and wait for them to turn up and uh, they should be there within the next five or six days uh, you might get a crime reference number if you're lucky uh, so we've got pd123 what does he say shocking outcome you're not wrong pd uh, there should be a petition raised against this i'd sign it and I'm sure most decent people would they would but you know you can't change these things they just do it the minute someone breaks into someone's house they should lose any rights that they have yeah poor lad i really hope his conviction somehow does get i know 208 people uh, are on board with that who i am i've no idea so that young lad would have been terrified when someone is full of adrenaline and fear your first instinct is to defend yourself he would have just lashed out at the burglar not knowing who's purposely aiming for the heart what would the judge do differently <laughs> well the judge uh, lives in a whole different world doesn't he? he lives in a house with like bars on the doors and 
gated and all the more massive walls and all the rest of it. A judge said that though he didn't start the trouble, the convicted man resorted to uh, excessive and disproportionate uh, this thing by using uh, this thing on someone who was unarmed. Uh, have you, uh, yeah, just to clarify, a much larger drunk and angry man smashes in the front door or through the window, assaults a woman in the property, and then confronts a 17-year-old in his bedroom, and the judge believes a single this is excessive. Right. Yeah, like it's not like anyone's ever been beaten to uh, to this by an unarmed individual. Thanks, MS. Uh, sensible words from people. And uh, this guy is spending the next four years in jail. <sighs> Outrageous. Outrageous. Well, there you go. Let me know your thoughts, your hopes, your dreams, your ambitions. I don't know sometimes. Honestly, I don't know. And... Um, yeah, I would leave a like and a subscribe if you would. That'd be nice. It really helps the channel. And maybe we can, uh, I don't know, bring some sort of light to this guy. I don't know. I don't know what we can do. And, uh, okay, I'm going to see you guys later.